everyone, it's me, Darlene, out in her pajamas, shopping with a pajama shirt. I am so hot, and uh, it was a very gray day, and now the sun just wanted to come up. I'm in the Walmart parking lot, and uh, I had to move because the sun came out, and I was not happy, and I found a little tree. I'm looking like you're going to be able to see it, but you can't see it. And uh, the clouds covered the sun again for a minute. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is hot alert. <laughs> oh my God, I can't start saying that. You know what I almost did? I almost recorded in the store. I brought my camera in with me. And then I thought, do I really, really want to go back to that? That's so like 2017. <laughs> I used to do a lot of tag along with me to the stores. So I decided against it. I'm not totally against it, but it couldn't be today. I'm hot and I didn't sleep and I'm just tired and I'm dragging and I just feel ugh. so I um, thought I'd get out of the apartment and come pick up a few things. I don't shop for my mother anymore. But I do shop for Derek and Skylar. I like to pick up things for them, help them out a little bit. And uh, Derek sneezes a lot. He has a lot of allergy issues like me. But um, I've been doing really, really good here. Uh, I haven't been sneezing. So it dawned on me that it may be his detergent. And uh, I think I might have asked him that before, like... Would you like to go with, you know, free and clear? Because I have to for um, the fabric softeners. And he has scented ones, but I bought, um, you know, the free and clear ones for me because I do my laundry there. And uh, I thought I'd pick him up some pods and because that's what he likes to use. So I called, I texted him and I said, you know, you think you feel like trying free and clear? And he's like, yeah, I'll give it a try. So I said, do you want that now or later? He goes, now's a good time because I have none. <laughs> I said, okay, perfect. So I got him those. I got him a London broil. And uh, when I moved here and we were with Derek for a month, he, he tried carnivore. I don't think he ever mentioned it because he just didn't know how people would feel about that. He knows that I got a lot of shit about that. And um, he still eats a lot of meat, but he does eat the other stuff. But he liked it. He didn't feel bloated. And, but, it, you know, it's hard for some people. They just don't feel like doing it. And uh, I'm so used to it. And I still love it. I just bought some more London broils. And uh, lately I've been eating every day a pound of ground beef, about a pound of uh, London broil sliced, and um, half a pound of bacon, and a big uh, pork steak. That's what I eat in a day. And I, I feel really good when I stick to that. I feel better, really, if I cut the pork out and the dairy. I'm into ricotta cheese now. I don't know. You guys don't need to hear about that. I talked about that for several years. It's going to be, well, it's, what, uh, that was six years that I started doing that? 2016 in November. Well, it'll be six years this November. All right. I could not get myself any... I'm going to say soda, but it's like the seltzers with nothing. I want nothing. I don't want artificial sugar or anything. And they have a brand here. Uh, it comes in lime and peach with nothing in it except just the, you know, the flavor. And they haven't had any. This Walmart is out of so many things. I don't know if it's like that other places. And here's what I hate about this Walmart. And if you know me at all, you know that I don't usually put up with shit like this. Something will say the price, you know, on the sticker or whatever. And when you scan it, it can be 20 cents more. Uh, it can be a dollar more. And probably the first two or maybe three times that happened to me, which is almost every single trip. I mean, if I buy more than a couple things, I'm guaranteed to be paying more than what the shelf uh, stickers say. Uh, I said to them, this isn't what it was. It said that... Whatever it scans, that's what we go by. And uh, I tried again. No, that we, 
it's what scans they don't go look they don't check the price they don't say oh yeah you're right they don't honor the sticker price and I uh, I don't like that but I had to get used to it because this is where I want to shop it's close and you know the prices are certainly lower than Kroger um, you know Kroger is high and it if you're from the East Coast and you know about Shaw's supermarkets their prices are generally high but they have these sales but you know usually you have to buy like buy three get one free or stuff like that and I don't like to do that shit I'm only buying a few things for myself so I don't shop there uh, so I've just gotten used to it but for instance the pods that I got him 997 checked everything 997 11.97 did I say 11.11 11. 11. 11.97 two dollars more than it says so what I need to do is put the app on my phone I never did things with apps because my phone was like a dinosaur but I was forced to get a new phone because straight talk changed and my phone was too old but they sent me a phone but it's big I don't like it it's too big for me and uh, but I can put an app on it and I will uh, be able to scan and then I can decide once I'm at the register scanning myself scanning I don't feel like going back and I don't feel like calling somebody over to say can you take this out I need it and um, you know I, I just I just have to stop worrying so much about money <laughs> I just don't need to worry about it but I feel like I will forever be concerned with money. What is it Skylar said? I'm, I'm fussy with money? Something like that. She didn't say I was cheap. <laughs> That's what she meant. <laughs> so I'm going to go drop that stuff off to Derek and uh, see if he's got a, a clear, free, zero everything soda in the fridge. And Because uh, I like to pick those up for him too. Because whenever I go over, I, I drink some of his. So I like to buy that. What else did I get him? I got something else I thought oh some snack cakes um, but they're like cookie crunchy creamy things but I can't leave the box because it tempts him and I'm okay with that uh, individually wrap things like that that I have in the cabinet that I know of a Skylar I will uh, instead of bringing a bunch so that they you know that they she can have a snack after school she gets a sandwich I make them sandwiches all the time so she'll come home after school and have a sandwich and then she'll take a snack but he said I, I can't have that in the house because he'll eat them all so I said all right so I have them and I just took some out of the box that I'll be bringing there he's safe if he has just one you know? Anyway, I shouldn't be telling you all this stuff about him because it's his business. But I'm going to um, go over there and hang for just a few minutes. And uh, I really have to get back to work. And I did a big haul to the post office today. That was cool. Oh, and then I stopped by the dentist. I think it was like two weeks ago that I went for that stupid appointment with the periodontist. And he forgot about me and then spent maybe five to ten minutes with me. And I told you that I complained and I told him, I want my money back. I wasted time and he didn't spend any time with me. And uh, they said they were going to send me a check and they did. Took a week, but they got it to me. So I was happy about that. At least it was 95 bucks and it was a non-appointment. Not an appointment I expected. He barely said stuff to me. I asked a few questions and he was in a hurry. He was behind. He made me wait an hour and ten minutes and said he completely forgot about me, which I think is bullshit. I don't think he forgot about me. He just, you know, twiddled his thumbs and I could hear him talking all the time. And I just wasn't happy about that. So I went back to the dentist now because I decided I was not going to put eleven thousand dollars into my mouth for um implants I was going to have to have two there and he said you could have the one on this side because I have a tooth missing there I'm not doing that so I talked to the dentist's assistant today and I have a point an appointment at the end of May to have these two teeth yanked and then they have to that has to all heal for at least three months and then I'm going to decide on a bridge or a partial she said, oh, you can just leave it with the space. I'm like, I, you know, that space is going to be like really, you know, two teeth. That's a big space. My tongue will start falling out the side of my mouth like those dogs. <laughs> so I need something there. 
I can put a little fence. Um, all right, I guess I'm gonna go because I just, uh, I just, I feel like you want me to stop. <laughs> did I get anything good for me besides London broil? Huh? I did get a new thing of ricotta cheese. I did pick up regular cheese. I still eat a little bit of cheese and uh, dairy. I wish I could just walk away from it forever, but I don't. And I need cheese for the sandwiches that I make for Derek and Skylar. And um, I have some pasta in my apartment that was for my mother, and I really should cook some of that for them. I don't know if they like like pasta salad or stuff like that. I can ask, but I'm going to have you know spaghetti that I can cook for them. And, Whatever, I just like to have somebody to do stuff for every now and then. All right. Okay, I guess I'm going to stop now and uh, go back to work. Go home, visit with them for a little bit, and then go back to work and cut fabric. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.